What's up, YouTube? This is Drop Dead. Hey, man, I just wanted to show, uh, went to an estate sale. Got some awesome finds. Um, here, I'll show it to you. For one, <clears throat> got this little Easter bunny here. 25 cents, man. I got it for the motor. I guess it's the same thing as like a deer motor. But what's cool about this, um, the head turns and also the hands move. The head turns and the head moves. So it's pretty cool. Got it for 25 cents. And yes, it works. Awesome find there. And then uh, they also had a bunch of these hands. They need to be redone but um, or touched up with paint. But um, I got a few of these hands and also some long arms and stuff. They were mounted on the wall like holding stuff like it was mounted on the wall, and there was, like, necklaces and stuff hanging off of it. It's pretty pretty cool, pretty weird stuff. Um, <clears throat> got a few of those. But the best part of the find was these awesome, awesome, awesome rod iron gates. They're, like, 10 foot long. They got this wire mesh on the back of them that I don't like, and I'm actually going to get rid of it, um, the wire mesh. But uh, it was to keep a little bitty chihuahua or something in that they had at the time. And they replaced all their rod iron. They replaced all the rod iron fencing around the yard. Oh, these damn things are heavy. But I'm going to take it off. And it's, like I said, it's got this wire mesh on it. I'm going to take the wire mesh off. Throw a little bit of black paint on them and call them done. Saves me from having to build some for the uh, graveyard that I'm doing. They are heavy. That's the only thing I don't like about them. But um, I got two of them. Ten foot long each. Man, I got them for $20. <laughs> $20. I could not believe it. Um, and also the little pieces that are missing on the top. Also, I have a bunch of those too. Um, I just took them off because they were loose. So, uh, some JB Weld and a little bit of black paint. And then also taking the wire mesh off. And these would be done. They're heavy. <laughs> also, uh, I got a buddy that uh, does roll off containers. And, um, talking to him and he got a contract hauling off all this styrofoam big pieces as you can see here I mean I got big fat hands so um, pretty big pretty big pieces as you can see and then I got some like uh, one and a half inch I guess one and a half inch pieces pretty good but um I got a bunch of this and more if I need it, um, which I know I will. But uh, all of this styrofoam, I, mean, I can get containers of it for free. But uh, I don't know if I, I hadn't used this kind yet, a styrofoam. So I've always used just the blue styrofoam and just basically glued a bunch of it together. So hopefully would I can also get bigger blocks like big cubes basically um, instead of like building a frame and then uh, putting the smaller stuff on the frame for my columns um, I'm thinking about just using the big col the big cubes out of it but um awesome find I just wanted to uh, to show y'all and uh, again my little my little Easter bunny and my my gates that I'm very proud of <laughs> and then my hands all these hands I got, I can't remember exactly how many of them we got, but um, I ended up getting the hands for, uh, I want to say they were like 10 of them or something like that I had gotten, I believe, and it was like $2 for 10 of them. Easter Bunny I got for $0.25, cent, and yes, it works, and the gates I got for $20. I just could not believe that. I mean, phenomenal. Um, there was actually a firefighter that got there before I did. Did not see the gates, but he bought 17 panels, six-foot panels of wrought iron. Same style, 
for fifty dollars. <laughs> I was about an hour too late. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I greatly appreciate it, and y'all keep your scare on. Stay scary.